Barbecue framing is not a sign that you will normally see at a car manufacturing facility. Well, this isn't a regular car manufacturing facility. This is where the all new Mahindra Thar is built. Now you've seen tons of videos of us testing the Thar, talking about people who own the car. But how is the Thar put together? We are in Nasik at Mahindra's sprawling facility to see how the Thar comes alive. Every car or SUV starts with a roll of steel from which individual parts and panels are stamped. We start with the smaller stamped panels that go into the different jigs at different parts of the assembly process and then they are welded together to form larger parts. Here you have the bonnet structure, firewall and the floor pan that has come together and at this stage itself, this is unmistakably a thar with that iconic face. This assembly now goes into the barbecue framing station where the basic structure of the thar comes together. These are the side panels that incorporate the structure for the doors and the rear wheel arch. In this giant jig fixture, the roof structure is welded onto the body, a critical part of the manufacturing process as this gives the body strength, integrity and torsional rigidity. These are the key reasons why the Thar is now so much nicer and easier to drive. Now the unmistakable bones, the skeleton of the Thar is ready, complete with the rollover bars that you see here on the rear. This gives the body strength and excellent crash test ratings. The bodies are stacked and then sent to the assembly line for the build process where the first quality control inspectors go to work checking if the body conforms to their standards and is within their tight tolerances. Inspectors also check the finish of the body to ensure that the thar comes out looking flawless. In parallel, robots work on putting together the doors, a mechanized process ensuring tight fit and finish and then the body with the doors are sent off to the paint shop. The painted body then runs down the assembly line where it comes to life. The wiring goes into it and so do the trim elements. In the next step, the dashboard unit is fitted in. And then the unique touch of the thar. The wind plate gets the serial number engraved on the line itself and it is then fitted with pride on the dashboard. Made in India with pride, that's what it says. The thar is available with a hard top and this is fitted on the assembly line in the factory to ensure perfect fit and finish and zero leaks. There is a terrific focus on quality while building the thar. There are over a dozen badges on the Thar and all are installed with precision using these templates. Now while work is going on on the body, in parallel on another line, the mechanicals are coming together. The engine is made at Mahindra's powertrain facility at Igatpuri and the transmission is also installed onto it there and this is then shipped to Nasik. Here you can see the entire powertrain getting installed onto the ladder frame chassis. And as you know, the Thar gets a petrol engine, a diesel engine and both get the option of a 6-speed automatic transmission and all variants get 4-wheel drive in keeping with its pure off-road heritage. Heading back to the body line, we join the process where the windshield is bonded onto the body. Another critical process to ensure no leaks and low NVH. And finally, the marriage. This is where the finished body is bolted onto the chassis which now has the engine and all the running gear installed including the tyres. Final finishing, top up with fluids and the thar is now ready and is sent to the dyno room where it is tested on a rolling road dyno. It is then driven into the inspection booth where quality control personnel cast their trained eye over the thar. From the inspection station, the thar is driven into the shower test where high pressure water jets hammer it from all corners. And with the shower test, the Mahindra thar is ready to roll out of the factory into showrooms and into garages of few enthusiasts. This is how the Mahindra thar is built. 
Before it heads to the showrooms, the Thar is given one final run on the torture tracks, driven by trained drivers with sharp ears and a sensitive touch, all trained to look out for any untoward noises. And once it passes this, it is out of the factory and off to the showrooms, ready to be lapped up by eager buyers. Stay tuned to the Evo India channel. Very soon, we will be hitting the Mahindra Adventure Off-Road Academy at Rigatpuri to put the Thar through the off-road tracks and dive into its hardcore 4x4 abilities. Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.